everybody, and today we are going to continue working on our catapult design. In this case, you are going to download a pre established file from your Schoology platform. That way, you can have that file and start um, from there. Okay, now on your, when you open your file, this is what you have, and it's basically all the parts of the catapult um, disassembled. What we're doing today is that first we're going to learn how to move objects around different viewports and then we are going to build and design some other parts of the catapult. Finally, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you a little bit on how to, um, um, to put a little bit of uh, render and how to render an object and how to add uh, a background. Okay, so those materials are obviously in an add-on called Flamingo, and if you do not have Flamingo, then you should look for um, for the plugin or uh, use another computer. Okay, that actually has this um, this add-on. Okay, now on your top view, on your top view, what we have is basically. Um, the, all the parts of the catapult we have the base that it's 50 by 50 centimeters that is our actual requirements we have two axles that will be placed for our wheels we have our four wheels we have three uh, two pillars and the arm and of course we have the top um, the max uh, point so we can uh, adjust the, the angle of launch of this catapult we also have the the ball holder or the uh, or the holder for any projectile that we want to use so okay so the first thing we want to do is to assemble all these parts together so for that reason um, we want to use only the top front and right view to move objects around okay so first we're going to maximize the top view so we can see all the parts and we should have very clear uh, where each object goes so first let's start placing the the two pillars the two side pillars here they are okay so we're just going to drag them remember to always have the grid snap activated and the planner activated so we don't worry about if it's the object is going up or down in our plane so we can just drag and move it okay Okay, basically to the middle of the of our design. Okay, it's here, two centimeters from the from the edge and three centimeters from the center edge. Okay, we do the same with the second object. Okay, it is important to make sure that they are aligned. The two objects are aligned. Now, if we go back to our perspective view, we can see that the objects. Okay, the objects are inside the base okay for that reason we want to we want to pull them out a little so to move them okay on the y axis we need to maximize the front view okay zoom out and we can select the two pillars okay remember with control I'm sorry with the shift button so with the shift button you can select the two objects and then move them up right where the base starts okay so in this case now we have the pillars on top you might use screws in order to attach these objects together in your real design I'm sorry in your real prototype okay so you have now the two pillars over here what we need right now is the third um, the third stick goes right in the middle so first we're going to maximize the top view and we are going to organize this pillar first from the top view that it looks um, aligned and straight okay now if we see in our perspective view the that stick is on the bottom it's on the base so we need to move it from the front view so we can move it from here Okay, 
and we can place it at the top. Okay. So now we have um, our uh, the top part of our catapult ready. Okay. Now we are going to add these two axles that are for the wheels. You're also going to need some axles. In this case, I'm going to select one by one, and I'm just going to from the top view. I am going to drag them down. Okay. Okay. Now they're here, and we're going to do the same with the second one. Okay. Now, if if we look closely we can see that this axle is a little bit out of the edge okay now that is needed for our design but on the other side of the catapult we see that there's nothing so we're not going to be able to attach the wheel okay there's something called on rhinoceros called scale now there are three types of scaling scaling in one dimension two dimensions and scaling the whole object the, the whole three dimensions okay in our case we just need to uh, scale this axle just one centimeter long outside okay so we're going to click and hold in our scale our scale button and we are going to choose scale 1d now if we read the command line it says select objects to scale in our case we're going to select the axle okay we're going to select the two axles we're going to press enter when done and then we're going to have an origin point starting on one edge of the axle and finishing at the end now if we move it to the left we see that the two axles are scaled only on the x-axis okay so only in distance they're not changing radius they're not changing um, um, any of the width they're just changing the the distance okay the length so we're just gonna extend it one centimeter and then we're going to click again Okay. We go back to our perspective view. Now our axles are the proper dimensions. Now we only have to do is adjust the wheels, right, and the arm. So the wheels are all in a wrong position. First of all, we need to rotate them, and after we rotate them, we need to place them right in the middle okay so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it with one wheel and your task is to do it with all the three wheels so we're gonna grab one wheel first of all now on the front view is where you, front view or right view like when you see them here where you see them here uh, you can rotate them okay so we are gonna go to our tool rotate Previously selected, we are going to click on one of the edges of the wheel, extend our selection, click again, and then start rotating 90 degrees. Okay. Now, after we have it on the 90 degrees, we can maximize our right view and just align it with our axle. Okay. If you need to make further adjustments because the wheel is not attached to the axle, now you move it from the top view, and there you have it. Now it's attached and aligned. Now the idea is that you do exactly the same with the other three wheels. Very well. Now you have the four wheels attached to the catapult. Now we need to place our arm. Now this arm, the catapult's arm, is going to go starting on the bottom part of the catapult attached to the base. But now we are missing an axle that goes right in the middle. 
That's not a problem because we can use one of the axles. Just select one of the axles, okay? And this axle, we can copy and paste it. Just control C and control V and then just drag it down. To where we need it okay on the perspective view you can see that um, the axle is here in real life you would you would just open a hole on the wood and then place an axle okay now this axle needs to be scaled because it's too big if I want to scale something that changes the same on one side and the other this case I'm gonna scale on 1D and I'm gonna start right from the center I'm gonna scale right from the center so I get the necessary amount now my axle is inside the wood okay now I'm gonna move the arm and adjust it right in the middle of the axle okay make sure it looks correct now I can fix it if I select it on the right view, I can pretty much fix if I need um, if I need to change the the distance. Okay, so I have the axle right in the middle of my arm. Now I'm only missing that I need to rotate the arm, and I can do that from the right view. I'm going to select the arm. Okay, you can select it from any perspective, from any viewport and maximize the right view so you can see the arm better click on the rotate tool start from the bottom of the arm so it doesn't change okay you can also start and it's better to start from the axle because that's the our rotating point There's a rotating point so I'm going to just twist it around a little turn it until I get this location. Okay, now you can zoom out to see that the that the arm is correctly placed. Okay, and the only thing we're missing before we can actually start giving this materials is our uh, holder. Okay, now the holder needs to be placed and moved from all the viewports so let's start from the top view let's maximize the top view and let's move the holder so it's aligned from the top view okay just a little as you can see it doesn't match it doesn't match right in the center of the stick and it's because we're using grid snap if we want to correct this position a little then we can use take off the grid snap move it just a little there you go and activate snap again okay now we need to go to the right view and pull it up okay it can be also like a little bit inserted inside the, the arm okay and now we have it on the top and we just need to rotate it now in the same axis so I'm gonna rotate the holder just a little bit so it has it is perpendicular to the arm okay as you can see now you have holder the arm and we can start uh, just uh, creating some uh, creating materials and, and filleting the edges and so on and so forth so if you want to fill the edges remember that we should go to solid fillet edge and remember to uh, add the radius in this case I'm going to leave it on one because I'm not going to fill it all the edges of my catapult. Okay, I'm just going to fill it a few. Okay, so I'm going to select the edges. Be one. 
can be another kind of like the ones that um, nope not this one if I want to deselect an edge I just press control and select the edge again that way I can deselect edges okay in this case I want to do this one the arm okay you can just rotate it so you can see uh, what you're doing um, this one here this one here so it looks more organic okay in the back and of course my wheels both parts sometimes you want to zoom in so you can uh, select them easier if you zoom in you can select the edges easier this is up to you like you can select the edges that you like try not to fill it to edges that are intersecting because that way it will generate um, it will open a hole on the on the object okay so now I've press enter twice three times and I can see on the render view I can see a little bit of my catapult okay now this catapult needs materials okay and it needs materials because uh, it's made basically out of wood and uh, we can add rubber wood and metal okay so if we go to render current render Flamingo Ray Trace, make sure you have Flamingo Ray Trace, and then go to the tab called Flamingo, open materials, and here we're going to add a few uh, things, okay? So pay attention to this part because it's very important. Now for all the wood part, um, I just need to go to wood, solid, and I can choose any of these types of wood, okay? Let's say I'm going to use this one. I select the objects, first of all, remember with shift, I select everything that is made out of wood. So I'm going to select the base, the arm, um, and that's it. And I'm going to right click on the material and select assign to selected objects. Okay? You don't see anything until you have the render view so you can right click select render and you'll see that you have the color okay you won't see it correct until you actually renderize the model okay so but just so we know that we have this with one material I'm gonna select um, like foam for the for the wheels it looks pretty much like like rubber so I'm gonna select the wheels and add this that is called grip foam. Okay, so this is the grip foam. Then I'm going to go to my metal uh, category and select stainless steel. Okay, polished stainless steel. And I'm going to select the axles. Okay. The axle and the holder. I'm going to right click and then assign selected objects. Okay. Now before we renderize, we should always set a ground plane. So on these tabs, you can see one called environment. I'm going to click on environment, double click on ground plane, then select the material. A very cool material that you can use is uh, car paint. Now car paint gives it a, a really nice view. Now you don't see anything. Remember, you don't see anything until it's actually renderized. Okay? So let's close our flamingo. Let's give it, let's maximize the perspective view. Try to center the object and click on the blue sphere that you see on the top panel. Now when you click on the sphere, the the picture will start coming out. Now you can see the that the type of material that you see that you have, like wood, uh, the rubber, and stainless steel. Now this object is inserted in the ground, so I have to take it out. 
that is a good um, that is a good uh, view so you can see that the object is inside the plane now on the front view you just select everything from left to right and just drag it up until the wheels are out of the plane okay now we maximize the perspective view again and click on renderize okay now it looks more like the toy that we want to present okay now it's your turn to create a design of your own catapult uh, remember that this design will be graded so what you will do is that you will present and hand in this design and start modifying this design to get your own design and also present it so basically this has two uh, different submissions one is the template of, of the catapult and second the the personalized design so good luck and uh, I hope I see some really great designs